So, welcome back to uh, Swift and Mac OS 10. So, I'm going to basically show you how you can uh, display uh, images in an image well, uh, images that are going to be bundled. So, I'm going to open up uh, here uh, the image section, and we can take these images that I have in this folder here. And, uh, what is it doing? And I can drag them into this image area here, and it's just going to show a 1x image, you know, nothing more fancy than that. And so we have them labeled here, and they're brought into our project. Okay, so let's go back to our main thing here. I've already brought in an image well and uh, some radio buttons to switch between them. So let's bring up our code here and let's get rid of this other extra stuff we don't need. So we're going to start off and we're going to create uh, some outlets for our image view here. So let's call this my image view and let's also get An outlet for this, call it my radios, and there we go. And so basically this is going to switch between uh, the user clicking on these radios, so we'll also create an action for this. Call it radio image switch. And there we go. So we already have these images in here. And let's uh, bring those back up here. Uh, so we already have names for them. So we have uh, blue flag, purple flag, red flag. Um, so let's go into our code here and just uh, put what these are called. We have purple flag. And let's copy that one in here. And lastly, we have the red flag. You could rename these in here if you would like. Uh, I'm just going to use what they are. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first set up um, some literally um, constants on these. So I'm going to say let my our flag, which will represent red, that will equal uh, an NS image. And you can see there's a number of different things here. What we really want here is named. And so we can then take this here and add the string. Of course, we do need to add quotes. And we also need to give it an uh, exclamation mark at the end. And let's do another one for my purple flag. So we call it a P flag. And this is, they're really all going to be about the same here. So I'm going to just copy and paste what we brought in for the purple flag. And then let's do another one for. The blue flag, okay, and here's our blue flag, we can just copy and paste what we had brought in. Okay, so we have set up um, the references to this, so what you can now just basically call these things here I'm highlighting. So when the user uh, selects the, and let's see, where are we here? Where's our view? Let's bring up our nib view here. So user will click on these and bring this up. So we need to go in here now. 
let's see here. I just want to make sure I got a little bit more room. Okay, I do. And now, so we have to get our value from our radio button. So we can either put that in a variable. And actually, we can even do it like this. And I'm just going to use my radio row. And that's an integer. And that will be equal to, and we called it up here, my radios. So we have to bring that down, my radios. And we're looking for the selected row. And here it is down here. And all we have to do now is a switch my radio roll curly braces and we're ready to go. So case zero case one. Case two, case three, and let's see, this one here was, let's remember what they were. Okay, this one here is red, this one's blue, this one's purple, and this one is none. Okay, so all we have to do now is um, call what we called up here for outlet for this image view, which we called my image view. So we can just bring that in here, down here, and just paste that in. And so really what we're looking for is a thing called image. And the image is equal to what we called up here. So this one here was my red flag, uh, or our flag is I guess what we called it. So we can basically copy and paste these into the rest of them and just change um these settings here so we're looking for blue that'd be blue we're looking for purple let's get the purple and then down here my image view dot image equals nil okay so when we launch this, this should work. Um, when we first launch up the code, though, we should tell uh, what, like a default value we should have in it. So let's tell our my radios, I believe is what we called it, my radios. And we're looking for the selected, well, not selected, select, oops, I think I spelled that wrong. C L yeah. Select cell at roll. That's what we're looking for right there. Okay, so we want to start with the first uh, value, and then we want to tell our or I think it's called I called it my image view, my image view dot image equals. Our flag and that will start up so it's red when we launch okay oh and it does love to have um, a default value really the default value could be the same as you know nothing the same value Okay, so let's give it a try. And it is compiling now and should be launching in a second. And here it is, it has launched and here is a red flag. And again, our blue flag, our purple flag, and no image. So you can see that works pretty good. We didn't uh, set up any of the resizes, but it's a pretty simple how to do that. So that's how you would access uh, bundled images. And these are images that you would, uh, you know, 
import into your project, build your project, and would use to display for different things. Um, these are not for uh, importing or exporting images. I'll show that in a different uh, video. So thanks for uh, joining me and I uh, hope you learned something. And let's go back through the code really fast. We did create two outlets, one for our image view and one for our NS, uh, for, for our radio buttons. We actually declared or we set uh, these constants so we could call this instead of always having to do all this extra code. Uh, made it a lot easier. And then here is uh, how we set the image. Uh, the name of our item, dot image, and the value. So it's very simple. And if you don't want to put any image, uh, put nil in there. So it's, it's very simple to do. Um, so thanks for joining me and have a good time.